how to add file upload button to Shopify product page. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add the add or add picture button to your Shopify. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to Shopify.com, then you have to sign into your account. When this is done, you are going simply to the product section. Here, I am going, for example, to choose either a product or select a, or create a new product. In my case, I am going simply to add a new product and I will let you see here uh, the showcase step by step. I'm going to put, for example, POD uh, or print on demand product product like that uh, or t-shirt uh, here print on demand t-shirt like that and simply I'm going to put this for the description I am going to put here a print on demand description like that I'm going to generate this description I will so I will not take a lot of time of generating the description now for the media you can go ahead and upload some media you can see here we have a lot of media i'm going to add something like a t-shirt or uh, a sweater it is up to you to choose a sweater for example we have this product from amazon let's say that this is a t-shirt i'm i'm just assuming that this is a t-shirt and it is not but uh, the case is only for the example of the product let's say that this is not what i wanted to so i will go ahead and add another design let's go ahead right here see the designs that we have on here we found our product so this sweater for example i'm going to put a sweater like that sweater and here we have to own sweater also sweater like that and also i'm going to copy this and paste it in the place of uh, t-shirt then you are going simply to put the um, the price i'm going to put it at 29.99 here we are going to charge taxes on the product here we have to track the quantity for example here it is nine here when uh, continue to sell here we have to put select all and click on done now if you have a SKU or stock keeping unit code you are going to put it right here uh, if you have a barcode you are also going to put it and for the shipping I'm going to put the weight of the product like that and for the variance it is up to you to choose some variance now this is not very uh, important right here I'm going simply to click on save and then we are going to the online store here we have the uh, product as you can see print on demand sweater go right here i'm going to save the changes again go to the online store now before we proceed to this step uh, to see the uh, add button uh, right here i'm going simply to go back to the uh, theme or the store then i'm going to click on products simply we are going to select the product that we have created which is print this is print on demand sweater i'm going to click on it and here under the theme uh, template i'm going simply to search for the custom demand click on it and assign it the theme template to the custom demand click on save and here it will assign the product to the custom demand and as you can see here I'm going to refresh it. Here we have the print on demand sweater. We have here the description box and we have the option to choose the file. For example, I am going to upload this file and here we have it. When you uh, select this product and also when you have to make an order for it, they will or the store will receive the order uh, onto the orders and it will show you the images right here and you will be designing or making a pod of that product now let's make a little test for the uh, improvement that we have made and before we are going to order i'm going back to the online store say theme settings i'm going to click on customize right here i have to make sure that something will not occur and uh, everything will go well so we are going back right here to the product custom demand 
and see here the product and for the buy button all you have to do is to click on it and make sure that the show dynamic checkout button is not activated if it is activated like that it will not work show dynamic checkout buttons should be deactivated and here we have it simply you are going back right here to the store i'm going to place a order let's see here i'm going to visit my store then i'm going to uh, search for that product print here we have the print on demand sweater simply we have this black add to cart button i'm going to put a description i want the logo or the image to appear as a little as a little icon at the top left corner so normally it will be right here this it will be a little favicon or icon i'm going to choose the file here i'm going to let me see a logo for example i'm going to upload a png logo or a background removed logo this is a very vital to make something uh, uh, with a background removed so if the clients have uploaded a file that would that has a background so all you have to do is to remove that background from that specific logo or that specific uh, image that you have then simply you are going to set it right for example this one i have this removed background logo here we have to click on add to cart i'm going to remove this one add to cart simply we are going to see right here this is not the uh, the one that we have but this is the one print on demand sweater we have here the description and we have the deposit of the design here simply i'm going to click out on checkout then i'm going to add a, a custom address as you can see here this is a custom address i'm going only to put this is a fake address so a little disclaimer guys here everything created in this video such as email addresses phone numbers are created for the sake of the video they are not used for any, uh, any personal uses so keep that in mind i'm going to put uh, or make the bogus testing payment i'm going to put any card number for example one here the uh, expiration date i'm going to put uh, here 7 2025 the security code i'm going to put any security code because it is a only a testing and then i'm going to let the use the shipping address as same as billing address click on review it will be calculating and then i'm going to click on pay now and the order should be ready in few seconds the order is proceed and then i'm going right here to my store i'm going to refresh the page or the admin section click on orders and simply we are going to see the order right here here we have the order we can go ahead and check it and when you click on it you can see here the description describe how you want your design to be and you can also see the image uh, right here it will be downloaded to your uh, desktop and here we have it then we have the description and you can go ahead and fulfill the item as well as much as you want that was all for today's video i hope that you guys have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one